just going to start my timer here. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a strict six minute regimen. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Paul D'Oliver. I've been a Rotarian for five years. I'm out of the Concord Rotary Club, or the Rotary Club of Concord, as Dick Hale would say. Um, my focus has been in Haiti. Uh, I've done a, two projects in Haiti a couple years ago. I started bringing laptop computers down because my business is technology, and I wanted to deliver technology to a place in need, a third world country that couldn't afford it. So my first trip to Haiti was to, to do a technology consultation, bring some laptops down, and when my club found out what I was doing, they asked if they could help me write a grant. So we wrote a grant for $35,000, and we're working with, a, with a, a children's residential home facility in Haiti called St. Joseph's Family. They have three residential homes in Haiti, and they rescue children off the streets, child slaves, homeless, orphan kids, and they give them a place to live and grow up until they're 21. Medical, food, education. And so our first grant was to deliver uh, computer labs to all three of the residential homes which are located in different cities in Haiti. So we have uh, between four and six brand new Apple laptop computers, high speed internet, network equipment, uh, filtering routers, and uh, network printers. So now we have computer labs in the three homes. What they do is they allow the kids to be able to reach out and self-educate, to learn technology skills, to practice language skills. Part of the uh, education component we saw up there, but also the communication component because they can talk to other people around the world. So it's a nice resource for them uh, and it's a great project we're able to deliver through the Matching Grant program with the great support of my club, my district, and also the, the Caribbean Rotary District who's been very helpful in the process and the Rotary they have a, what's called the Haiti Task Force, which oversees the 20 Rotary Clubs in Haiti. They've been very helpful as well. The second grant project was currently in process. It should wrap up in about two weeks. We're purchasing a new uh, $40,000 transport vehicle for one of these three homes. It's for severe special needs children. They do not have a transport vehicle now. And they're paying $140 a day to hire private transport for the special needs kids who can't take regular transportation. I left a, 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 a one booklet on each of the tables that have some pictures of our grant projects. They talk about the technology project, they show some of the computer labs and some of the kids using the equipment, and they also show the transport vehicle. Our third project, which we're just skewing up probably for the next grant cycle, is a, to help and be the lead club on a water project for Southern Haiti. They want to do $200,000 water project, we're going to do 35 grand of that. So we're also looking for other clubs. If you're interested in being part of that process, that would be great. We're trying to help them get their funding in place. But at the end of the day, it's the biggest uh, project in the Caribbean this year, and it's the biggest project in Haiti. Um, through this process, uh, a couple of things I've learned <coughs> that have really benefited. One is to develop uh, friends and supporters, both in my club and in my district, to support the projects we're doing. The other is I'm actually getting out and doing it, making it happen. I go to Haiti probably three times a year. I always go to two or three or one Rotary Club meeting. I have friends in five or six of the clubs now on a first name basis. And when I need to get something done, they're very helpful because they know I'm committed. I've also developed friendships with uh, the last four district governors from the Caribbean, the current district governor, and next year's district governor. And when you need to get stuff done in Haiti, uh, when everyone is supporting what you're trying to do, it makes it so much easier and simpler to have everyone on your side and everyone supporting your efforts. Um, and then the last part of it is the, the funding part of it. Um, as much as being able to put together and execute and deliver and complete and close a project, you got to get it funded. And one of the things I've done over the, over the time is realize that I've got to be part of that funding uh, effort. So when I approached my club for, to help fund the grant projects, uh, they said, well, Paul, that's great. You get this grant project done, everyone's supporting and signing and stuff. We don't have any money. I said, well, look, look guys, how about if, if I can commit to raising half of the funds through my friends and associates and clients, would you put up the other half? And they agreed. And uh, it worked. And so we did it again. And the first time, they kind of, a few of them kind of laughed because they didn't think I was going to do it. The second time they saw me coming, I think they were hiding a bit. <laughs> And now we're in the process of um, Ingrid's putting together an international matching grant project to do a water program in Africa. And then, then we're going to try and get that Haiti one going next grant cycle, 2014-2015. So at the end of the day, um, we're delivering some really interesting projects to help the unfortunate children in Haiti who have now a better chance at life and a career and an opportunity and a, a healthy lifestyle than they did when they were on the streets. 
They have communications, they have internet, they have technology skills, they're able to learn, they're able to self-educate, communicate, practice language skills, and now they have a transportation vehicle as well. So we're really delivering essential basic life needs to these children, and it's great to be part of that, and it's great to be part of an organization that supports and helps fund uh, and, and makes things like that happen, especially in a country like Haiti, which really needs the effort and the work. So I want to thank you all for your support, and um, if there's something I can do to help your clubs out in terms of an international grant project, putting it together, funding it, executing it, I'm glad to assist, because I do have a bit of experience on the international aspect. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. So thank you.